In this video, we are discussing summarization pattern and its types. We know that in case of big data, we are supposed to deal with huge amount of data. So to get one conclusive result, we are supposed to accumulate data of the same type and then we shall apply some statistical function on them so that we can get some summary. Statistical function means we can go for average, you can go for sum, count, median calculations, mode calculations and other details. So let us go for the details about this summarization pattern and its different types. So what is summarization pattern? Nowadays the data are large and vast and to get a clean and summarized view of the data, we should use summarization design pattern. So this summarization design pattern will give us a summary, a conclusive result from a huge set of data. So in these patterns, we can gather similar data together and then perform the counting and statistical related tasks on it like our finding the standard deviation, mode, the variance, the finding the average, etc. For an example, if a group wants to know about how much time visitors are spending on their website, they need to use this summarization task on the required data set. And this is one of the applications where you can apply this summarization design pattern. Types of summarization pattern. There are various types of summarization patterns are present and in this section we shall discuss mainly three major types of summarization patterns and they are numerical summarization pattern, inverted index pattern, counting with counters. So let us discuss all these different categories and types in our next videos for your better understanding. Thanks for watching this.